Welcome to the faculty training course and in this short video I am going to show you how to navigate the course and how to find the modules that you signed up for. When you log into the course the very first page you will see is the announcements page and I will be posting announcements on a regular basis and the first one you will see is this video announcement I recorded to introduce you to the course. How do you find uh, find different components, different modules in this course? To get started with the course, you will need to uh, click on the course content link located right here in the course menu, course content link. So let's click on the link and here we go. Well, uh, <laughs> you see nothing and that's all right because the way this course is structured is Basically, there are three modules in this course and you will need to sign up for the modules that you registered for in the Power Apps registration system. For example, if you signed up to take um, Introduction to Online Learning module, that you will need to actually sign up for this module. So to sign up for the module, you will need to click on the Sign Up Here for the Modules link. And you will see sign up options for all three modules. There are only three modules in this course, but you will need to take either one or two, maybe all of them. So it's basically what you and your supervisor agreed on. Let's just say for this example, let's say you will need to take the providing feedback module. So you'll just need to sign up for it. Click on the sign up button and sign up again. And here we go. That's it. You are in. You signed up for this particular module. Now, how do you get started with this module? Uh, you will need to click on the course content link again. And you will see this module showing uh, in the content area right here. To open the module, you will need to uh, to click on the link, say to you grading requirements and providing effect effective feedback guidelines. Once you click on the link, you will see all the assignments and activities, the content for this module, and you'll just go through this assignments one by one. To go back to, let's just say, in addition to providing uh, effective feedback, you also want to take another module. Uh, for example, Introduction to Online Teaching. So to sign up for that second module, you will need to go back to your content course content uh, area by clicking on the cor course content link right here in the menu and sign up for that module. So let's click on sign up here for the modules link again. And here we go. Find this Introduction to Online to online teaching at CDU module, this is the module, and click on the sign up uh, button. And then click on sign up again. And that's it, you are in. So you have signed up for the second one. To see both courses, both modules that you just signed up for, uh, remember to go to the course content link right here. Click on the link and here we go. You will see two modules that you have just signed up for. So the first one is uh, providing feedback and the second one is introduction to teaching uh, at CityU. There is this overview for each module, for objectives and a list of activities. And to uh, get started with the activities in the module, you will need to click on the link, introduction to online teaching at CityU. And again, you will see all the activities, all assignments pertaining to this particular module. And to go back to the list of um, all modules that you signed up for, again, course content link. This is how you will navigate through this course by using the uh, course content link. Now, I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about other links that you will find in this course, particularly this two, discussion board and assignments. Well, the way that uh, the way we designed this training is um, based on adaptive release. 
this may be a new term for you, but basically what it does, it allows faculty or students only uh, sign up for the module one or two and just skip the other ones that do not pertain to them. So this is a great approach to use if you uh, follow, say, a differentiated uh, teaching model. Like in this case, there are three modules that are available for all faculty, but you may only need to take one or two and you will need to sign up for those modules and adaptive release allows you to do that so that's how it works behind the scenes in blackboard now the problem with the discussion board and assignments link is that if you navigate say you sign up for this three modules or for the two modules and if you choose to navigate through discussion board uh, link and assignments link let's just click on the discussion board link the problem is that you will see all the discussion board assignments that relate to all three modules or say all four modules because I'll be adding modules each quarter. Basically, you may, if you navigate the course this way, you may end up taking or completing the assignments that you did not sign up for. Unfortunately, there's no way to apply adaptive release in this area of Blackboard because it just doesn't work. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. And the same in the assignments section. That's the reason why I um, recommend everyone uh, taking those modules to navigate the course using the course content link only. That's it. Now, if you have any questions uh, about the course, uh, about the modules that you signed up for, or about any specific assignments, you can always contact me, Ekaterina Stoops, and you can find my uh, information here under faculty information right here the best way to uh, connect with me is is via email right now I'm working that virtually so that's the only way to connect with me and you can uh, read my biography here and then once you start working on the activities in the modules that you signed up for uh, you would probably I'm sure you would want to see your grades because I will be uh, grading your submissions to see the grades you will need to click on my grades link right here and right now there is nothing because there's um, zero students there's faculty in this training so you don't see anything but once you start taking this assignments I will be grading them and I will be providing my feedback and you will see uh, your grades here and that is all so uh, every time you log into this course again say you worked on the assignments yesterday and you're logging in today the landing page is always announcements and you will see some new announcements showing here and then to get to your uh, to the modules that you are working on you will need to click on the course content link right here and that is it for this training tutorial. Thank you.